In this video, I'm going to show you how you can push apps out to your students' Chromebooks. Um, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the Google Play for Education store. And uh, you can get here by just doing a Google search for Google Play for Education, or you can, uh, up in your address bar, type in play.google.com forward slash edu, and it'll, it'll take you to this page. <clears throat> and so this is the... Uh, this is the, the Google Play Store for education. So all the apps in here have been vetted by other teachers and they've been deemed educational. So that's nice that knowing everything in here has been vetted by other teachers. Uh, with So lot, lots of eyes looking at it and making sure that it's you know a quality app that's going to be great in the classroom. Uh, as you're searching, make sure that you're searching for Chrome apps only. This apps up here, these are Android apps. They will not work on our Chromebooks. So we wanna be looking for Chrome apps. So when I'm in Chrome apps here, um, I can, some of the most popular ones are gonna pop up on this front screen. I have got some filters here on the left. I can go by subject and I can even by grade level. Um, I can even search for you know an app or a style of an app up here. So as, as you're going through and you find that, that perfect app, uh, like, Oh my, all my students need Quizlet. Uh, so all, all you need to do is click on the app itself and there's an install button. When you click install, what it's going to ask you is basically who do you want to invite to use this app? And so this is a familiar looking screen, it's almost like the share screen when we're using the Google Docs. Um, but you can just click and start typing in email addresses. Now getting all of your students' email addresses in there could be a pain if you were going to type them all in. Uh, there are ways to make it a little easier. Uh, the first way I'm going to show you uh, is using Google Classroom. So if you're using Google Classroom and your students are in, go to your classroom, click on the Students tab. Here's all your students in your class. Click this button here and it's going to select all of them all at once. Come here to Actions and just choose Email. And what this is going to do is it's going to open a blank Gmail, but it shows you everyone's uh, email address. So from here, you can you know select them all by highlighting, or I clicked on the first one, I held shift and clicked on the last one there, and I'm going to copy that. So I did a control C, and I'm going to come back to the Google Play Store, and I can click in here and command V, and in will come all of their email addresses for me, um, making it really easy to push that app out. I'm not actually gonna do this because I don't think all of these teachers want this app, but to push it out to my kids at this point, I'd click install right there. And it, it could take as fast as a couple minutes and maybe up to 10 or 15 at times for your students to get that app, uh, but it, it pushes out to them pretty quick. So that was, that was one way to get all your students' email addresses. The other would be a little more work, but it can be done, is uh, you can actually create a group. So I've gone to a new tab here. I've, I'm going to click on my app launcher. I'm going to come down to groups. And when I click on groups, I get the option to create a new group here. And I can click create and I can name it. Uh, whatever I want, so maybe, you know, Mr. Nye period four, um, and I it's going to populate a custom email address for me, and I can, in further steps, add in the students. Um, you know, this is great, but you're going to have a lot of leg time and still typing in those email addresses, and now you're managing this class roster essentially as students come in and out of your class you go from term to term so me personally I like using the Google Classroom option because I'm probably not going to push that many apps out to my students in reality um, rather than trying to maintain a Google group like this um, but if, if you want to set up a group Google group you can it can take up to 24 hours before the groups fully live because of all the syncing and everything that needs to happen on, on the Google end um, but that's just more of a heads up so uh, the Google Play for EDU store, um, it's great. It's really easy to push out apps. I'm going to come back here to that home page again. Um, once you've pushed out apps, if you need to uh, remove that from any of your students, you do that with this Manage Content button here. So you click on Manage Content, and 
you've got some options, make sure you're over here on Chrome Apps and it's going to show you a list of any app that you've pushed out. Obviously I have a much longer list um, because I'm pushing uh, more content out uh, than you probably are at this point. And so if you wanted to, let's say I want to take this graphing calculator away from my students, I'd click uninstall and it's going to bring up the list of students that I've pushed this out to. And I can put a checkbox by individual students or this checkbox for all and click uninstall and it's going to remove that app for them. So it's, it's really easy to manage the apps for the students uh, with, with in your classes and um, making sure that they have all the tools that they need to succeed. So I hope that helps. Uh, we'll keep be, we'll keep pushing out videos like this, um, you know, as as we can to try to stay in front of uh, as many of the questions as you guys may have.